Right, so this bike behind me is the Canyons Drive and sort of by accident I got to test it for just a few minutes or half an hour or so. And the reason for why I'm doing this quick video is because I liked it so much. I like it a lot more than the older Canyon Spectral on uh, before the update at least. I haven't ridden the updated Canyon Spectral on. That bike has got a, an upgraded fork and also an upgraded shock too. And I think the Spectral needed that to be honest, to be able to compete with other brands. But anyway, uh, no need for upgrades on this bike. It feels amazing in comparison. And the motor is of course part of it. This is a Bosch motor. You can't really tell from this side. I get that. But anyway, it's a Bosch CX performance motor, which I feel is a big step up actually from the Shimano EP8. Shimano has released the new EP801 motor to be able to compete with Bosch. So maybe that's the next step for Shimano, I guess. Component wise, these are proper E mountain bike components. It's uh, even a Fox 38 up front on this bike. And I think it's a float X in the rear. It's not an X2 on this bike, it's an X. But on my little short test ride, it works really well. Don't know anything about the battery size. I prefer smaller batteries, to be honest. I uh, don't need those 900 watt hours batteries. I just add weight to the bike. I put the total weight on the bike here somewhere. The bike actually feels a bit heavy when going slow, but it comes alive when the speed increases in some weird way. I really enjoyed this short test run with this bike. So I'm looking forward to test it a little bit more in a bike park at some point. As a Spectral, this is a mullet bike. So it's a 29er up front and a 27 and a half in the rear. Um, these are proper tires as well, which I like very much. As a guy is in the front, Max is as a guy with EXO Plus, I think, up front. And in the rear, well, there are Minion DHR 2s in the rear. But the casing is, oh, now I see it's even DD casing in the rear. So that's a big plus in my book. Let's compare this bike to the Spectralon to see if we see any differences. I don't have the numbers now. But I'm assuming that the Strive is a bit slacker and longer than the, than the Spectralon. Love the saddle too. It's an Argo saddle. They always make great saddles right, in my mind. I know this is only a very short test ride but I'm taken away over how playful this big bike is, despite its weight and slack numbers. Great suspension design and proper suspension components does make a very noticeable difference. Climbing is no issue here either. Usually slacker bikes can wander a bit in the climbs, but I have no issues here at least. I have enough weight on the front tire both when going up and down. The low end grunt from the powerful Bosch motor, along with the much appreciated overround function, helps a lot too, of course. The fact that I have a good balance on the bike, without having to shift my body position too much, makes me want to try more challenging trails than this. But that has to wait for another time, in another video.